What is up guys, Pro Player Apathy back in the building with another video today, bringing you guys a live commentary, talking about something that happened to me during champs or happened at me at champs. And before I continue this video, I just want to say please don't judge the gameplay much. I haven't really been playing Call of Duty at all, and I'm a little bit rusty. <laughs> I'm gonna have to start grinding again, so please don't make fun of me. So, to the video. Now, actually, I talked a little bit about it on Twitter recently. Or not recently, it was about oh, two weeks ago, but I talked a little bit about, about it on Twitter. But I wanted to make this video and go more in depth and talk more about it. Yeah, my, my shot's pretty bad right now. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So basically what happened was, second day at Call of Duty Champs. Uh, we were going to scrim at the warm-up stations at the hotel. If you guys didn't know, wow, that was a nice spot. We're going to scrim at the warm-up stations at the hotel. And Slasher is plugging his controller in, and yeah, this controller is literally working fine. It was perfectly like w fine. It was it was basically new. It was it was good to go. And he plugs his controller into the Cronus, and then out of nowhere, his controller doesn't work. So we literally wow. Okay, so we literally spent like the freaking like 30 minutes to an hour trying to get his controller to work but no it would not work at all no matter what we did it wasn't working we we reset it we unplugged it we reset the ps4 we did everything you literally could think of everything and it didn't work so now his controller was gone his brand new controller that he just got from scuff was gone he couldn't use it anymore so he had to go back to luckily he brought his spare controller which is a little bit old and broken but you know at least luckily he could use that controller for now Where, where's this guy i knew his oh there he is okay so what? <laughs> what so so that happened to him right so i was like that's that was that was strange that shouldn't happen ever again that's like one in a in a, in a ten thousand like that's something so rare to happen we don't even know how it happened to begin with so somehow that happened. So let's re let's let's fast forward to day day two at Caught Champs. Like actually, you know, Saturday. Day two Saturday. So Saturday was it Saturday? Pretty sure it was Saturday. Our first match was versus FaZe. Yeah, the next day. It was versus FaZe. And that was gonna be our first match of the tournament. So I <laughs> just got knocked out. So I get to I get to the to to the, we get to the venue. We start warming up. We got there about an hour early, you know, make sure we're warmed up, cause starting to warm up. So everyone's, my whole team's already sat, sit, like, sit down, sat down, sitting down, whatever, Jesus Christ. And they're warming up. They're all warming up. They're they're getting their game plan. FaZe has been there like 20 minutes earlier than us. They're warming up as well, or they've been warming up. So we're there, you know, like, all right, I'm, I'm sitting there like, all right, I got to start warming up too. So as soon as I plug in my controller, practically brand new, probably a month old, brand new. Wow, like new. I plug in my controller into the Chronos Max, and boom. What happened to Slasher happened to me. At this point, I don't know if we're being sabotaged or what the hell is going on, but this is how how does it only happen to me and Slasher? It's like a coincidence. And the only thing I can really think of Heat Wave. The only thing I can really think of Oh my Oh my god. Is the Cronus Max is somehow disabling the controller and basically breaking it because it does not work whatsoever like it literally the controller doesn't connect anymore to the ps4 that's what happens it, it's like if the if the chronos max had a virus or someone was sabotaging us i have no idea i'm not gonna say someone's sabotaging us because i don't think anyone's gonna take it that far but i'm just saying you know i'm just telling you guys maybe that's what happened i don't know get destroyed so out of nowhere that shit happened to me and i literally was controlless i couldn't use my controller I was, I had, I, and the, the worst part is I brought a spare, and the spare was, like, wrong setting, like, wrong, I don't know, something w wasn't right with it, I think it was, like, the sticks were a little bit bad or something, so then I couldn't even use that, I couldn't use that, so then I had to ask Scuff, I had to ask Scuff for a default controller, because I use dome sticks, for people who don't know, and I have to, I had to ask them for a default, con no, I asked them for dome sticks, but at the event, you know, because dome sticks, not many people use dome sticks, it's pretty rare. All they had was default controllers. So then all they could give me was a default controller. And this is about 30 minutes before a biggest match for top six versus phase. I was losing full. But I knew right then and there that I had to regain. I knew that I had to focus up. I knew that, you know, this is serious. This is, this is serious. Like, 
Like, I have to I have to focus up, man. It's for top six. I don't care if I'm playing phase. I don't care who I'm playing. I'm not going to let this stop me right here. So I end up using a, a whole different set of sticks because I'm not, I do not use uh, default sticks at all. I'm a dome stick player for years. And I had to use a whole different set of sticks within like 30 minutes before a match. I warmed up about 15, 20 minutes after I got the scuff and everything because it, it took a while to do all that stuff. And I started playing with it and... Luckily, you know, I played pretty well. We beat phase 3-0 and you know throughout the whole match I played pretty I played real well. Like I adapted pretty fast, get locked out, you got outplayed, and out and out punched. But yeah, that was the craziest thing that happened to me. It was insane. I mean, can you believe it? Like, what do you guys think if that were to happen to you during champs? Like before the, one of the biggest matches of the tournament, about 20 to 30 minutes before your match, your controller just breaks down, you have no more, and you have to use a controller with completely different settings and sticks. Like, it was pretty, pretty insane, but luckily, I'm a pretty mentally composed, strong guy. So, you know, I just, I try to stay composed as much for my team because I didn't want them to see me losing too much full. And I just warmed up with it, and I just went to the match thinking I'm going to try my best and do my best. And I actually still have the same scuff here, which is the one I used at Champs. I'm, I'm waiting for a dome stick one, and this is the one I've been using. That's why probably my shot's a little bad. I got to get used to it. But either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Just a little story I wanted to share with you guys. I thought it was pretty crazy that it happened, but it's all good. We pulled through. This has been your boy, Apathy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out. Peace, mother...